she immediately sent me pictures. When Trinice Hawkins saw these pictures. I was furious. Of her eight year old son's neck, she wanted answers. The bus monitor choked him. And security footage from the boys bus route told the tale. Grown man, adult attacking a, a eight year old child. On May 8th, the little boy and other elementary students from Richardson ISD were being dropped off from school. Hawkins's son, the first stop. Hey, 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 but before arriving, you see a disturbance between students and then the bus monitor putting Hawkins's boy in a chokehold for several seconds. I was in tears. I was very frustrated. I was angry. Hawkins overwhelmed when she saw it with her own eyes. She says her son has recovered but can't sleep well and even struggle with eating days after this happened. And to see this stuff happen to your own child, it really, it really hurts and bothers me. The bus monitor Earl Brooks was fired by the district and has been charged with injury to a child per DPD. The district telling WFAA that the actions of the former employee are both inexcusable and inconsistent with RISD's employee standards conduct. They also say Brooks passed a background check, but Hawkins. I have plenty. <laughs> still has questions. I do. She is a bus driver for the district and an employee of 14 years. And while officials say this was an isolated incident, she wonders what kind of training Brooks received. I feel like more the district let me down. And if protocols need to be reviewed. In Richardson, I'm Matt Howerton.